uh, Miley Cyrus, this teen star in the United mm. States, closed down her Twitter account because she was so pissed off at the invasion of privacy. Let's let's watch this. Yeah, you're right what you're doing, but who really cares if I'm playing with Noah or just doing my hair? Everything that I type and everything that I do, all those lame gossip sites take it and they make it news. I want my private side private. I'm done trying to please. I ain't living for tablets. No, I'm living for me. No more email. Okay, Bianca, you're in entertainment, mm -hmm. just like Miley Cyrus is. Uh, can Whoa, you? Whoa, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the I mean, same you know, level. Huh? Yeah, we, we have Absolutely. the Twitter queen. Of course, we have the Twitter queen here. Wow. So, do you agree with that? Can you relate to her to her angst about the invasion of privacy? I can relate to it, but I think it's also in the way you handle it. Just like. Uh, you control whatever information you give. You also control how you feel about what people message you. And it's part of the... It, kumbaga, it comes with the territory of being on TV, I guess, that people mm -hmm. feel that they know you and they can tell you things, they can be open to you. So I get affected, of course, by some negative tweets sometimes. But you have to just know na yeah, they're just sharing their opinion. Okay, and they mean well? Uh, sometimes not, but yeah, you just have to take it well. Kumbaga, just be the better person and yeah, don't let it affect you. Okay, journalists also join Twitter to follow newsmakers. One famous news, uh, newsmaker on Twitter is White House Press Secretary uh, Robert Gibbs. Here's what he thinks about the site. It's a fabulous medium in which to communicate with uh, not just the White House Press Corps, but uh, tens of thousands of people that want to know what the president is doing or a picture of uh, who he met with and I, I found it to be fascinating. So it's not just uh, your opinion about something but it's also about real time what's the president doing or what's he wearing today or who yeah. is he seeing mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Do you well, get that kind, of, uh, that kind of a tweet coming your way, Ricky? Well, I, I follow Gibbs. Uh, yeah. So I get that from him. I follow Kevin Rudd, uh, so I know what he's doing also. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and when I'm on coverage, I'll tweet a picture mm -hmm. of what I'm doing, so yeah. people can also know what yes. story I'm working on. Although it doesn't always work to my advantage, because I Why? did a story the other day, yeah. and I tweeted it, uh -huh. and then uh, I thought I had an exclusive. <gasps> but because oh, it was no. on Twitter, the entire Malacanang press corps <laughs> went for it. Went for it after me. So, you know, it doesn't always work. Failed. <laughs> you should do it after and mm. no. Okay. And Carlo, when we come back, I'd like to ask you about, uh, about the question of whether there is a battle for having the highest number of followers uh, tweeting you and following your tweets. When we come back on Media in Focus.